nice bright day today and it's, it's really joy for me to see you all through this video talk. Well, I'm Satyajit Devadhar, I'm Associate Minister for Greenfield Baptist Church and I welcome all of you for this video talk which would be titled as Bible Banter. Now this is a new series that we would be doing every week or whenever I come and in this series we would be talking about different Bible characters that we see in Bible. Well, as the word banter says, it's going to be a very informal talk that you and I will have. And most of the time, you might not even find me doing this talk in a church, not even in a building. Well, today I'm somewhere in Greenford, in some park, and it would be good to see if you can recognize which park is this. Please leave your comments below so that I know and you would know which is this place. Well, that would be one of the things that we would be doing. I would be going around Greenford, recording my videos at different places and talking about different biblical characters. Now, when we talk about Bible characters, there's often this question that we ask. Why do we need to talk about them? Aren't they just perfect, perfect because they are there in the Bible? You know, there has to be a reason if they are there in the Bible. So, why would they include such people in Bible if they're not perfect. But I think they are there in Bible because they're just humans like you and like me. The stories of these individuals that we would be looking at in weeks to come involves people, those who are just like you and like me. They have their characters, they have their personalities, they have their likes, their dislikes, their temperaments, different personality traits. And the reason they are there in Bible, because God wanted us to study them. God wanted us to see them. Because most of the time, we really don't focus on the personalities because we think they are there in Bible because they're perfect and that's isn't they're there. But friends, they are in the Bible so that we can see ourselves, we can see our reflections in these characters and see how when we face a situation, we can see them and say, oh, that's just like me. Maybe we get scared and we lie. That's what Abraham did. Maybe we, we for our own sake, plan something against someone. That's what Jacob did. Maybe Joseph thought, I'm better than everybody. And that's what he did all the time with his brothers. Well, Saul was jealous of David. Solomon was the smartest man, yet he made a wrong decision. When we see these biblical characters, my friend, we see that they have made mistakes and yet God used them. Yet God made sure that their weaknesses would be turned into their strengths. Areas where they fall short, God helped them overcome them. God made them strong because they chose to submit themselves to God. Well, as we begin this journey of Bible banter, I invite you all to be a part of this journey. Maybe if there are certain things, certain characters in Bible that you want us to talk about, you're most welcome to leave your comments or send me a mail. And we would certainly discuss about those characters in these video talks. And of course, a beautiful nature on Greenfield. So as we begin this journey, let us be willing to submit ourselves to God, allowing God to do things that he wants us to do, allowing God to do things that he wants to do in our lives and asking him, God, let your will be done. Friends, I really look forward to be in touch with you, to communicate with you, to speak with you through this Bible baptism. Have a great week.